Did you know that Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, is really good? Of course you do, because you're an NGB. And we told you it was good, and we are trustworthy dudes. Had a real weird kind of B-movie vibe to it, a lot of tonal shifts, quite a good sense of humour. Uh, it was great, it was not just a solid shooter in the way that like Rage 2 is. There was a lot more there and it had a good feel, a good world, world build to it, if you will. Machine Games are trying to expand things in the Wolfenstein universe because Blaskovic, he's great. He's an angry, misunderstood man. It's great, but you know, there's plenty of them in first-person shooters. So they've tried doing, I mean, you may have seen the release of Cyberpilot on VR. That's cool. That's a nice little addition to the Wolfenstein canon. And we also have this, uh, Youngblood. The main USP here is you are no longer a lone wolf. You are now two lone wolves, a duo of wolves. Anyway, uh, BJ Blaskovic, I can't say that right, Blaskovic, Blas anyway, him, his daughters, it's now the 80s and they are taking over the family business, doing some Nazi shooting. And BJ, ah, oh, he's gone missing. So where's he gone? Don't know. So his daughters, they're gonna go and try and find him, right? So Wolfenstein is now a co-op experience. Uh, I mean co-op as in like you both play together, not as in like you go and buy some food and get points on your card. So what you're doing here is you've got Jess and Soph, the twins, and you buy the game. <laughs> That's how these things work. But not only that, one of your mates, if you've got mates, right? Mates are good, get some mates. Uh, they can drop in without having the game themselves and play on the buddy pass system. So you can fucking do that. Or you can just go online, find a random who's got the game as well, team up with them, you know, and uh, have a great time. And whether you like them or not as characters, it's probably going to be a very personal thing. They kind of veer between sort of fun and anarchic and just a bit annoying, I suppose, like real teenagers, I guess. I think the thing is, the dialogue doesn't feel very genuine. It feels like it was the common problem of like, this is teen, this is dialogue for, you know, teenage girls written by men who are not in their teens. They're a lot older than that. It's all very, you know, how do you do fellow kids? Uh, and I know it's like, you know, we're looking back to the eighties here. So the slang is a bit older, but it just doesn't feel quite how these people would talk. And also, they keep using the word slay, you know, like how people on Twitter do, like slay girl and stuff. You know how drag queens say it, right? Um, but it's in the 80s. I don't think that was a thing then. But I suppose that if you're taking issue with, you know, using the wrong slang terms in the wrong decade, this is a game with 12 foot giant robot dogs. So maybe I'm picking the wrong battle here. The other characters don't do well on dialogue either because you're in France, you're in Neo Paris uh, or New Paris. Um, just translate there for you in case you didn't figure that out. And, um, and so obviously, a lot of French people are about, right? And your little allies that you hang out with in the catacombs, they're French. And you know they're French because they talk in really thick French accents. And they speak in English, but every now and then they'll drop in a French word. Like they'll go, ah, this is très bad, instead of very bad. And that's how you know they're French. It's a bit shit, right? It's a bit basic. But hey. So the problem with basing your game around online gameplay is that your, your tech has to be tight, right? And I don't think Wolfenstein's Youngblood, Wolfenstein Youngbloods is particularly tight. I found a lot of time when I was trying to get matchmaking on with a random internet onliner. It was, I just get booted out of the lobby a lot for no reason. Uh, and tech in the game in general is a bit iffy. Like I found, I had to abandon one playthrough, uh, go back to a checkpoint. Checkpoints, by the way, are fucking miles back, so enjoy that. Uh, because I got stuck in a wall and there was no, there was nothing going on. Just I was walking along a wall, I jumped and I got stuck in the wall. I couldn't get out of the wall. So I had to go back about a quarter of an hour's worth of playtime and to do it again. That was fun. And the other time that the dodgy tech, I'm being very general with the word tech here, uh, ro rears its head is if you choose to play with an AI buddy. So, you know, not a real person. A computer is on your team because they're fucking useless. Because I remember one mini boss battle where I was doing all the shooting and the other twin, I forget which one I was and which one she was, Jess also, I don't know, um, just kind of ran around shouting encouragement but not actually doing anything, uh, which, was, um, which was helpful, but it would have been more helpful if she would have shot something. And we look at a co-op game, look at something like um, A Way Out, uh, that came out a few months ago and you know technically it was a bit didn't look great 
Uh, the dialogue was pretty, actually way worse than this. Really, really bad. Um, but it had some good ideas in how you can play co-op gameplay and some nice mechanics going on there. Whereas there's not a lot of that here. There are some attempts, but a lot of it's quite basic stuff. Like, you know, when like you go into a room and there's kind of, there's one lever on one side of the room and there's a lever on the other side of the room and you pull them at the same time to open a door. Isn't that clever? Who designed that shit? Um, so there's things like that. And like, there's kind of crates that you both need to open because they're heavy, I guess. But, and I mean, that's, is that it? That might be it. You can kind of give each other little pets as well. If you press up on the D-pad, you kind of can choose whether you give somewhat your partner, your sister, either 50% health or 50% armor. Um, and that's kind of it. And like the only sort of assistance you get is just, you know, there's someone else there shooting people. And it would be, would be nice to feel more intertwined with the person you're playing with, you know, rather than just being able to run around and do your own thing and then coming together briefly to open a door or something. And one thing that it picks up from uh, the new Colossus is that, yeah, the enemy difficulty is quite hard. Um, the pacing is weird. Like even when you've got your your play buddy stuck with you and you're doing, you, you're both actually shooting things. Yeah, the, yeah, some of the bosses are very difficult and you get really bottlenecked into areas of enemies that can be harder to get through than you would expect on normal setting. So I have to put it down to easy after a while just to get through the thing. Uh, so yeah, that's not, I mean, I say it's hard with the person playing the other sister. On your own, it's fucking impossible. And some of that you can find that you can get around by grinding, by you know, disappearing, doing some side missions, leveling up and stuff. But it's not really fun though, is it? I mean, I guess some people like that. You know, World of Warcraft is that, I guess. But I just kind of want a story and there isn't really one here. And it's okay when your game is very clear it's not supposed to have a story, like, you know, Doom or something. But when it's like setting up, it's set up is, oh, here's a mystery, solve it, then it doesn't really deliver on that. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, one thing that gets added though, from the old games, is the RPG elements. Like you get the skill trees, which you'll be familiar with now, if you've played any game in the past 20 years. And you get, you know, experience points to go up the skill tree and so forth. Uh, but some of the music moves you can get are quite nice additions to the combat. Like you can do a kind of a shoulder charge where you just run at people and knock them over and that's good. And there's the kind of a Mario butt bash thing and the axe throwing as well actually. The melee kills with the axe is really good. So there's like nice little additions to break up all the shooting which is pretty cool. But the downside to this is that either sister can acquire all these same skills. Like when you start the game you just kind of, you pick your sister, but then you kind of choose uh, what armor you want, you know, what kind of perk you want, what weapons you want for melee, that kind of thing. So they're not unique to each character, so why bother ha having, why bother having two? There's no replay value there in, you know, playing again and picking the other sister because you can have the same moves. So that's a bit of a waste, really. So it all makes sense in why Machine Works have done this because they want to bring a bit of variety to the franchise, you know, rather than just having your lone protagonist in BJ, you've now got uh, a much younger generation and there's two of them so you can play co-op and it feels different and they've got more moves because technology has moved on in the, in the, you know, the couple of decades since the last game. And that's really good and you can't dislike them for trying something new, but it feels like they've gone about it slightly half-heartedly and not really committed to it. Like um, the co-op stuff is kind of just thrown together a bit like it's one extra person shooting bullets rather than having you know just one of you there's two of you shooting and that's largely it and there's no exclusive skills or abilities to each character so it just feels a bit like it's not been fully thought through but above all this uh as with most bethesda shooting games apart from fallout which is dog shit um it has great shooting you can find this as well in rage 2 a game that is basically fine but the shooting is great same here on wolfenstein uh you can ignore all the other stuff if you run a really good first person shooter that has great gun feel, makes you feel like you're actually holding a decent weapon in the game, of course. So yeah, that is, um, that is always gonna be there in these Bethesda games, Bethesda published games anyway. So with this in mind, I'm gonna give Wolfenstein Youngblood a 6.5, because it is, it is good. It's just, if you were hoping for more of the same quality as, as Wolfenstein 2, uh, the new Colossus, you might have to wait until a little bit longer. 
So thanks for listening uh, and watching. Like and subscribe to NGB, all of that, you know how it goes. And uh, cheers, enjoy the weather, it's fucking roasting. Thanks, bye. <laughs>